This edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on February the 1st, 2016. We hope you enjoy. Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. So, yeah, we're, I'm going to talk about Ancient Shampoo, and that is pretty much, there are multiple of these kinds of programs that can burn softwares and all that, but first I'm going to show you how to get it. Uh, so, you just open up any of your web browsers, like Internet Explorer, uh, Microsoft Edge and or Google Chrome, Firefox and then you just type a shampoo burning studio and it's probably not going to be on the first page no it's not so to go to the correct place um, after typing a shampoo just type uh, major me yeah major geeks. major geeks major geeks yeah geeks as a nerd <laughs> and you want to free major, free. <coughs> yeah it adds the free because it's the only one that you can get here is the one you can buy um there is one you can buy, but it's just the same. Maybe you have like more features and all that, but yeah. What about uh, your media player? Yeah, uh, Windows Media Player is one of those that will do it. Yeah. But this also, A Shampoo also does pictures, uh, movies, and other things. Well, Windows Media Player just does music. As far as I know, it doesn't really do I didn't really try the other ones. Pictures. Um, so, I prefer to get it from uh, the second one, download at Major Geeks, the first one of those. Huh? No, you don't need to re-download it. It's, it's the same one. Okay, so I'm, I won't download this because we already have it installed and things will get a bit messed up. But you just follow the simple so things. It just pretty much you just keep heading next and then install. We all taught you how to look before clicking. Hopefully you all remember that. I don't. So once you downloaded it, installed, uh, you will have this program right here. Yeah, then you can't see me. I blend in. What a blessing. Fred. So, we now have a shampoo. And you can burn data as in uh, pictures, uh, even files that you want, uh, like documents and all that. You can uh, back up and then make a backup disk, which then you can use later on to restore your data. Uh, again, music, uh, movies. You can copy a disk with this, so you could just put one that's already in there and you want to give one to your friend you just uh, put our disk in there put a blank one in there and it will copy it can you a disk I've got somebody says oh I, I like that can you make me a copy can I take the one I've got put it on the 
computer and then put it back on another disk for them. Yeah. So oh, you'd have to okay. download it on the computer. Yeah. Well, that's what the copy, the copy to disk for. It already copies it into the program, yeah. and then it will tell you, switch me out with a empty oh, CD or empty. DVD. Oh, that's, oh, okay. Oh, that's still what you want. Then. And then you just uh, switch your CDs, put an empty one in, and we'll just then copy it to there. So you have two CDs now. Uh, I'm not going to get into disk image because I don't think you guys need to learn that. <laughs> if, you, if your computer's that gone that you need a disk image, call, call him. <laughs> Can't call me. Um, and then if you already have a rewritable disk, you can er erase the stuff on it so you can put new ones on it. Now, there are multiple kinds of CDs and DVDs. There's CD-ROM, which you can just uh, read, I think. And then there are uh, CD-RW, which is read and write. Um, and then it's the same thing for DVD. There's DVD-ROMs and then DVD-RWs. And I think there's one more. Blu-ray can count as one, but uh, unless you have a Blu-ray disc, you don't need to worry about that. Are some protected so you can't copy? Um, probably ones you actual CDs. No, I, I think you. I think you can, right? Um, if you have if you have movie discs, uh, to a large degree they are protected, and you have to rip the discs down with specialized software. To do it. Uh, for the most part, um, CD, music CDs will just rip down with no problem at all. Uh, yeah, um, in terms of movies, yeah, um, though most of the options underneath movies from what I'm reading is your um, making a video DVD. So if you already have a movie on your computer, you can put that on there you won't have to worry. Uh, yeah, musics don't have anything. Sorry, um, I'm confused. Like, I kind of missed a step. Like, when you went download um, that second option, and then the icon appeared on the desktop. Like, I didn't see it like installed or anything. Like, oh, that's because I was telling us a whole bunch of stuff before about when installing it, it'll ask for a free activation key and to make sure you. Um, it's already on here, so we can't really install it. Yeah. Oh, I see. It would, it would take some time. It would go through that. Yeah, step. it would go through installing. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, it's pretty straightforward. They don't ask you for anything. Uh, it's okay. I just so. I thought because you went through that geek thing, did you not have it? But okay, yeah. It's yeah, it's, it's already on here. We didn't want to waste time because yeah. it takes a couple okay. minutes. Thank you. So, I have a CD already, and it's a Doc Watson, my dear old Southern home. Really? Surprise! <laughs> 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 All right. It's okay, Bob. We're with you, Bob. It could be some, like, good music. Okay, it's there. So, to check if your CD is actually working, you just hit this PC, or it would be my computer for uh, older uh, versions, like Windows 7 and down, like Windows 8 and 10 have this PC. So you just open that, and then here you have a DVD RW, an audio CD. So if we want, we can open that. And here's all our tracks. Now, there are, as you can see, instead of it being called an MP3, it's a CDA, a compact. Compa uh, a compact disc audio. 
Well, I said compact. Yeah, compact. And you said no. I'm like, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Yeah, it, it will be a CDA fold, um, files instead of MP3s. Um, that's just so the disk can read it and say, yes, it's a, these are musics that we can play. So we don't need that anymore. That was just to make sure the computer sees it. So now we can do, go to music. It also helps to make sure that there was nothing on it anyways, if we're trying to get an empty one. But we can go to music and do rip audio CD. Nice. So what this does is it will sense the disc, read it, and this is always too low. Thank you. And what this essentially does is it takes all of the music on here after saying, yeah, these are all, all the songs that you have on it. No, and it went out to the internet to get that information. Oh yeah, it w like a as I shown you back on uh, this PC, I'll bring it back up. Oops. First you have to go to my computer. Well, that's just to make sure it's empty or has stuff on it. But, see, all of the things on the CDs are called track 1 through 13. But it, uh, this program went out to the internet, said, I have this song, tell me about it. And then it got all the data from it, like titles, the track number. And... If it is available, it would also say who it was from. But after getting all that, we would hit next. And it will say you're ripping this. It will tell you where it's going to put it. For us, it's uh, users temp temp PC music. But let's just say you want it to go <clears throat> to the desktop so you know where it is. You can click the desktop and it will download all the songs there. And beforehand, you do that if you so choose. We can cancel out of that and make a right click on, on the desktop. and make a new folder and call it music. So now, once I go back into a shampoo and hit browse, I can now go to desktop and my folder is music. So it will go in that folder and you know where it is because you just put it there. So you would hit OK. Uh, you would change the, you, you can change the output. I recommend MP3s are the most uh, stable, I would, I would say, and best quality out of all the options you get. So just, if it's not on MP3, put it to MP3. And then you would hit RIP. Now, we're not going to do that because we already did that. And it's just, all it will do is just download, um, essentially download from the CD to your desktop and copy the files. So uh, you would just see it do that, it will say done. So that's how we rip a CD. Now, since we already did this, if I go to Now we already put it into the music folder and here's all the songs that were on this CD. So from there, and that's pretty much ripping uh, CDs. Now, because we didn't put a fo folder down, we can then highlight all of these 
Uh, well, actually, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. And now it froze. Thank you. Man, your computer's so slow. So I made an, an, another new folder, and I'm just going to call this CD Music. And we can highlight all of these by clicking and holding and dragging the mouse out over all of them. And we can just move these to CD Music if we... How did you get that on? We just click and hold. Uh, left click and while holding and then just use your mouse to drag it down like uh, like so yeah so that's just in case you didn't make a folder beforehand and you just put it down you can make a folder afterwards and then throw it in there and now you always know where it is we now have music so once, if you already have music on here and you want to make a CD for traveling in cars or give to a friend or just play in like a stereo music box, again, you would hit music and you would hit create audio CD. Now, with this, it also tells you how long that's it's going to be and if it gets past that you can then use a DVD or CD so I'm going to add uh, going to add where are you music and then CD music I want to add all of these because I want to give my friend the same video and we didn't already install it on here. So did that add? Yes. So once you hit add, you can then hit next. Now it will tell you to make sure you put a writable CD in here, a, an empty one. We're not going to do that because I don't think we have any. But you would just hit in the corner right. You have now a CD of pretty much... Where is this button? There it is. So I, I now have this CD and I can give to my friend or play it in the car now and that pretty much it for music I go to the main menu here no. okay so uh, the other thing you can do with this is again uh, putting over pictures so you would hit burn data and new disk if you're doing an empty one if you have a previous one that you already did you can't update it if there's still room but we're gonna hit new disk and this time we're gonna add please tell me you have pictures nope <laughs> you have no personal life on this <laughs> well, you can go to the downloads, and, and there's stuff in downloads uh, that uh, is essentially data. So you can move the data to it. Well, um, well, here's a picture here. Found one. So I now have a picture on here. And again, I would hit next. Again, it will tell me to make sure that there's an empty... Anything that could be um, can be written, uh, the computer can write on. It will ask for it, and as you can see, there are many different kinds. Uh, but again, you would just hit write, 
and it would write it over there. You can then take your files and put them onto a different computer. And then you can see the files on there, bring them over if you want. Uh, yes. Now, we could do movies, but it's the same as the others, except you would just set what kind of movie you want. So, like, we, you probably want a DVD, so a video DVD from folder, and you will just, again, find the movie you want, add it, and then hit write, and now you have a movie that you can put on a DVD player or a new computer to watch. And that pretty much covers a shampoo. Yeah? When you were on that eat whatever and uh, for downloading and it said requirements and it had like different versions of um, uh, windows, is your, is it, can you use this a shampoo on a Mac? Is what I'm trying to ask. Uh, no. No, you can't. Oh, okay. uh, it, uh, for Mac, you would use uh, what he's going to teach you, iTunes. So, There are several other uh, different kinds of programs for the Mac. Uh, yeah, these are the, can, just the... You can download. There do you are different recommend kinds. any particular? Uh, no? Well, uh, one that uh, you will have to pay for is called Toast. Toast? Yeah. And Butter and what, Toast. Yeah, what uh, James just went through uh, is pretty much Toast. Um, it's all of those features are the same and the use of it is the same. Uh, it's a program you have to pay for. I forget how much it is now. I think it's not much more than $20. But uh, Toast works very, very well. On Thank that. You. Yeah, this is like Toast, but it's burning. Stop. It says it in the name. <laughs> <laughs>